hello guys welcome again in this video i will be talking about asymptotic notations which will be a continuation of the vi previous video where i discussed about worst average and best case so let's uh, go ahead and start it yeah so basically asymptotic notations are mathematical representations of algorithm time complexity hence it is actually used to compare algorithms performance based on the mathematical representation and uh, there are three types of asymptotic notations first uh, here they have given is big theta notation which you can actually map to the average case and uh, it is defined such that if we have a function fn and uh, if we have to define theta of gn then we can say that uh, if we multiply gn with some constant then it will be less than the fn function after a given n zero input and if we multiply by c2 then it will be greater than n0 sorry greater than fn after n0 so you can represent it like this and uh, it's just a mathematical form where uh, fn will always be in between c of gn and c2 of gn for all n greater than n0 and it equality sign will be also there which is important here now let's get to the other notation it's deco notation where we have a function fn with and we define big o of gn where if we multiply gn with a constant c then it will be always greater than fn after a n0 point so this actually can be mapped to the worst case and it always gives the upper bound of a function or the algorithm mathematical notation function so here you can just see that it can be represented like this uh, mathematically fn where fn will be always less than or equals to c of gn and greater than or equals to 0 and uh, for all and greater than n or equal to n0 and we have to also note that uh, this uh, n will always be a positive number we do not talk about negative numbers here so coming to the big omega notation we here we define g of n such the, like omega of gn such that if we multiply c a constant with gn then it will be always less than fn after a certain given n0 point and uh, we can represent it as this where uh, fn will always be greater than c of gn and it will be always greater than 0 for all n greater than or equals to n0 now coming to the and you can map uh, this uh, big uh, omega with the best case as it always gives the lower bound of a function so best case will be mapped to big omega now coming to these properties of uh, asymptotic notations so here we can say that uh, if fn is big of gn then any constant multiplication or division of a constant with fn will only result to big of gn and there will be no effect of it on the complexity time complexity of the algorithm 
and it is valid for all the three notations and uh, which we discussed uh, above and uh, transitive proper coming to the transitive properties so let's say fn is equals to big o of gn and gn is equals to big o of hn then fn will be equals to big o of hn so this is also valid for all the three notations coming to the reflexive property as we know that fn is equals to o, big o of fn because maximum of fn can be fn itself hence uh, it's also satisfied for all the three notations similarly now coming to symmetric property here if fn is theta of gn then gn is theta of fn but this uh, the thing to be remembered is that here is that it only satisfies for the big theta notation now coming to the transpose property if fn is big of gn then gn is big theta of fn and this satisfies only for big o and big omega that means the worst case and the best case <coughs> some more properties given here are if fn is equals to big of gn then and fn is uh, big omega of gn then fn will be theta of gn you can understand it as that if fn is like uh, uh, for only for understanding is the worst case and uh, fn is the best case then fn will actually be the average case now coming next if uh, fn is uh, big of gn and dn is equals to big of e of n then if we add these two functions then it will be equivalent to big of maximum of gn or en and if we multiply them then it will be order of gn into order of en now coming to the exercise here uh, which are the valid statements so in the first time complexity of quick sort is theta of uh, n square this uh, theta is the average case and uh, n square so this is false because uh, like it it's uh, uh, i think log n or n log n i do not remember but uh, time complexity in case of average case is that thing and uh, for worst case that big o of uh, n square is correct for quick sort so second is valid third is also valid because uh, we discussed uh, just now this property and uh, for fourth all computer algorithms can be written in big sigma of 1 so this is also true that as this all this is the best case and as told in the previous video by me that uh, that most of the algorithms we take order of 1 time complexity hence uh, 2 3 4 is uh, are valid uh, also this little omega and little o are also there where just this equality symbol is removed from these big notations so here uh, this equality will be removed and in this also this equality will be removed and they are strictly upper bound or lower bound so this was it for this video we will continue the analysis of loops in the next video as given here so stay tuned and keep preparing